Hi folks, from SlideNerd, Waves is back over here. In this video, I'm going to continue talking about table layout, some other attributes of the table layout like layout span, layout column, and Android collapse columns. Now we are going to see exactly how these attributes work, why do we use them. So first, let's just jump into the table that shows us the attribute and what are its properties. So here I have this attribute called Android layout span. I apply it to any view which is inside a table row. Now what does it do? It, it's very simple. It makes it makes the view take more columns in terms of width. By default, every view occupies only one column, but you can actually make it take more than one column using this attribute. Now if you guys are from an HTML background, there is something called call span which does the same thing. If you are not from an HTML background and if you are confused about what I just said, don't worry. In the next slide, I'll actually show you how this looks. So what kind of values it can have? Very simple. If you say layout span is 2, then it's going to make the view take 2 columns in width. If you say 3, then it's going to make it 3 columns wide and so on, right? So here, let's see an example over here. I have my table layout. There is a text view. There's another text view inside my table row. And there, this this third text view. Let's see how this thing looks. Now, if you guys take a look over here, there is this I want to be big, which text view. It's actually taking 2 columns over here. And that is because I've written Android layout span equals to 2 over here in this text view. As I said, it applies to a child view inside your table row, right? And that's exactly what is happening over here. Again, just to give you guys another example, take a look over here. There's a table row over here. There's a text view at the first place. And then there's another table row which has a text view and two buttons. But take a look. This first text view which says, I want to be big. is actually taking one, two, and three columns in terms of width. And that's what layout span does clearly, right? Now you guys are perfectly clear about how layout span works. So let's go and see the next attribute over here. The next attribute which I'm going to talk about is called Android Layout Column. Now what does this attribute do? Where do you apply it? Well, it again you apply it to any child view inside the table row. Now what does it do? Well, it specifies the index of the column number inside which your view should appear. Now what does that mean? Well, let's go and actually see in the next slide what it means. What values can it have? I can give numbers 0, 1, 2. All right. So let's actually go and see how this thing looks. So here, what I have is I have a text view, text view A, text view A, and so on, right? Now I have this button by A over here. And what I want is I want this button by to appear over here below this text view. As you guys can see, there's column number 0 over here, there's column number 1, 2, and 3. I want this by A to appear inside column number three and I want an empty space over here and for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something like this I'm gonna put the by a under this text view by using this attribute called Android layout column equals to three now you guys can see what layout column does very simple it specifies the column number inside which your view should appear for example here when I said button Android layout column equals to 3, I'm putting this by a button inside column number 3, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. There you go. So now in the 2, that is the column number 2, we have nothing over here. You guys can see that, right? Like this, you can control which view should appear inside which uh, column by using this attribute Android layout column. So I hope you guys have got what I said. Last but not least, let's discuss about Android collapse columns. Now this is used to hide certain columns. Now there may be some reasons you want to do that. We are, we'll see that when we use make, make practical apps out of these things. All right. So if you see this again, this applies to the table layout as a whole. Now you can control which columns your table layout should hide and which columns it should show. So that's what it does. The index of the columns that you want to hide. For example, if you see Android collapse columns equals to 2, it's going to hide that column whose index is 2. Now remember 0, 1, 2. It starts from 0, right? So let's go and see how this thing looks. So what I have is I have three text views over here. Simple column 1, column 2, column 3. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that attribute collapse columns over here. And I'm going to say 1 over here. Now what does that do, right? It is going to have column 1 and column 3. Take a look. Column 2 is disappeared. Column 2 is not coming, right? 0, 1, 2. And this is the column number 1. And this text view is disappeared, right? Because we have set collapse columns equals to 1. That's what your column collapse columns attribute does. Again, we can use the same and you can say something like this. We can say collapse columns equals to 0, 1. That is make those views disappear whose column indices are 0 and 1. So who are the ones whose column index is 0? This is the one, right, which is column 1. It has an index 0. Then you have column number 2, that is which, which has an index 1. So these two are going to disappear and you're going to simply see this on the screen. And that's how this looks. There you go. Again, let's take another example and find out how things work. Now, if I say something like this, collapse columns 0, 1, 2. I'm actually making all the columns disappear because there are exactly one, two, three columns. If you guys remember the table layout video, I've specified that every view takes a separate column, right? 
and that is why you have column numbers automatically assigned you don't need columns uh, column tags or XML tags and co for columns in table layout right so here if you guys see there's nothing on the screen it's completely missing right this is what your collapse columns does you can hide specific columns and you can give the index of the column that you want to hide very simple right so I hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts follow me out on Facebook I have a lot of interesting posts coming up on different topics over there you guys can check me out over there I'll catch you guys later have a nice day thanks for watching